yesterday's body. per dog per month. Similarly, the fine for possessing an undocumented animal will increase to 40,000 euro dollars. Thank you for tuning in to the M54 Local News. Have a pleasant day. about yesterday it's all in the report oh I read it except there's no mention of me telling you to Delta the fuck out of there yeah no biggie not like that cyber psycho was a tank on two chrome legs what the fuck were you thinking there's a reason
have nothing better to do? It's hot today. Can't you see I'm busy? Yesterday, half price on everything, and I sold twice more stock than yeah. usual. This is a college. So, you broke even? Yes, but the goods were trash. I would have thrown them away. That was fucking rhetorical. The Stan's Tiger Claws property. Come on, what's the matter? What's going on? I see the only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. Travelers to avoid side roads. We'll continue to keep you informed as the situation develops. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Saka and the Tiger Claws are in bed tired? together. Go or figure. Powerless. Every court plays dirty. Experience Some of the streets are more than that. They're filled. Yeah. Yeah. So the corpse yeah. leading to the gang suits collars and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation is bent over, cheeks spread wide. Think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Never heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. So hold on. We take the blow up doll, dream all the hole, and, and that's cheat. That's infidelity. Uh no. Well, How's that any different from some dollhouse ass? Cause the ass is meat, not latex. That's so hard to understand. Meat, right. No feeling going on, no thinking, no awareness. It's empty. Might as well be latex. Masturbation, sophisticated kind. That's all it is. Whoa, fuck. Makes perfect sense, that.
Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Check in, please. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Think an angel looks good. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Angel awaits you in booth six. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs. You won't find for any you. use for weapons Sad. inside. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. I'm a 
angel. Your angel. It's V. Just V. Only people I know real well get to use my real name. But we'll get to know each other well in no time, honey. Sure, why not? Do what you do best. I know that you're dying. How do you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. That's why you're here. Look around. Tell me what you see. There's something in the mirrors, way back. It's a projection, your inner landscape. Just what I needed, therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not going to analyze you. I won't play any tricks. My sole aim is to fulfill your greatest need. Listen, I'm looking for someone who worked here. Evelyn Parker. Know her? Know where she is? You must see the big picture. You focus too much on details, minor ones, like Evelyn. Please don't act like you know me. I just want some answers. But are you asking the right questions? How can you change what has already happened? Got only one right question now. The one I asked. Where's Evelyn Parker? Why'd the manager say she didn't work here anymore? When was she last here? You know anything? These are questions to which you'll find the answers on your own. I was told this place would fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. So what's it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died once already, only to face another kind of death. Come to terms. Sure, let me just curl up on the floor and wait for whatever. Give up. That's what you're saying. Actually, I'm saying the opposite. You wish to leave something behind, a piece of yourself. That's why this all began. You wish to be remembered. Yeah, wanted to reach the top, be someone still do but seems like that might not happen anymore still if i gotta die i want to go down in history fuck it even a footnote would do and after that do you think death is a disappearing act followed by exactly nothing People I've lost live on in my thoughts, and that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just some stranger's voice in my own body, yapping away. Mm, no longer part of the world. You will still have an impact there. So you believe death is not the end after all? Reassuring. I think I might just be afraid. So I imagine these things to distract myself from the thought of the void. If what I saw before is any indication, I... You are sensitive. That does not make you weak. Try to suppress your emotions and you'll drown. So, where do we go from here? This is the part where I tell you what you must do. Oh, okay. Be my guest. 
You've never backed down from anything, so don't stop now. Not one step backwards. In this city, people die on their way to the corner store for a scop pop. But that threat's never stopped you. You dive into the middle of it all. Always have. Things are moving way too fast. Around me. Without me. I... I can't keep up. A minor delusion. The truth is, we and our paths are braided. Never ending. Ever transforming. Not being, but becoming. And what's happening inside you, it could change the world. Listen, V. Never look back. If you must kill, kill. If you must burn all the world to the ground, then let it burn. Okay? Thanks for this. I... I don't want to go out there. No one ever does. But eventually we all must. Thanks for this. I... I don't want to go out there. No one ever does. But eventually we all must. Afterlife. What? What happened? You interrupted the session? Did I do something wrong? W were you not satisfied? Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Wait just a sec. That's not how this works. You can't ask me about the dollhouse or anything like that. I could get in serious trouble. Go, please, just go. Answer the question. Do it. And then you can get back to whatever it is you do. Here's what I don't do. Spill to any rando who walks in here. How about those good looks of yours? Be a shame if they dipped below club standards. Wonder what happens to a doll that suddenly goes ugly. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? There was an incident with a client. I don't know the specifics. One doesn't ask about these things around here. Tom might know. He and Evelyn were close. Go ask him. And please leave me alone. Tom, who's he? Friend of Evelyn's. Wasn't a free moment they weren't together. Where'll I find him? He's a doll here. Works the VIP area, booth two. Thanks. Shh. Don't ask for me again. Ever. Not bad, but it would be much better, real. I would eat those thighs. What do you mean, real? She's all ones and zeros. Do you mean I can ask her to do anything? Literally anything? Ask? It's not about asking, man. You just gotta be programmed. As establishments fuck sideways go, this one takes the whole damn pie. Hear that? At least I would hear no laments about pain. It hurts. It hurts. It's a hologram. What's so hard to get? Let me have my fantasies. Not like you know how to hack it, so why don't we just shut up and enjoy the show? I can't 
get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week. You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can... Shoot me! Don't hurt me! Relax, you're not in trouble. Just want to talk for a little. Where's Evelyn? Need to talk to her urgently. It's important. Well, are you mad at her or something? No. Know where she is or not. Uh, she's not here. Tried calling her more than once. No answer. Heard she was chipping a new faceplate in a clinic in Osaka. No, no. Oslo. That was it. Evelyn tell you personally she was going away? Um, no. Just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman? Who is he? Mr. Forrest. But we all call him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay. Mr. Forrest, then. Who is he? Um, he's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent. Deals with ugly situations. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. 
The skull sponges and these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. Thank <laughs> you. 
So how does this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block uh, uh, any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. Not bad, but it would be much better real. I would eat those thighs. What do you mean, real? She's all ones and zeros. Do you mean I can ask him to do anything? Literally anything? I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week. You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you, here, now. You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This gonk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Oh. <sighs> No shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. Need to piss first. <sighs> I'm in, in, in capacity. <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. What will you have? I know where to... Anything 
Whatever stands to fuck You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much. Even for me. Hi! Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. You sure you're Need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman? Who is he? Mr. Forrest. Oh, yeah. I'm but everybody good. calls him Woodman. Hardware. Never really known why. Okay, okay. Mr. Forrest. Then. A washing machine What's his thing? Motor, uh, He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent. Deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ah, uh, that's what they should be replacing. I'm in emo capacity. <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. I know where to. Mm -hmm. Dark, I do. Have you ever heard of Jotaro Shobo? He's one of the T-Claws. Yeah, I've... Hold it there, honey. You seem to be in the wrong place. Hey, no peeking. Bad luck sings like this. Mm. Looks familiar. What's that? Evelyn's jacket. Crumpled like a tissue. Must have been here a while. Hey, did you not hear? You need to leave. I'm calling security. Yeah, I'm good. Got some new hardware. <laughs> Motorcycle, not motor... A washing machine has a motor... Uh...